Prost, 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 Prost. Prost, Prost, Prost. Cute. G'day viewers, well, move on to my next meter. This is a WFVS Robert and Frankie Rodeo right meter, aka a Sangamay HMT Australian uh, variant. Made in Chatswood, Sydney, New South Wales. 240 volt, 50 hertz, one phase, 1500 ampere, two wire. Property of State Electricity Commission of Victoria. Certification it was last week calibrated in 1987. The last uh, lubricated and everything. Yeah, yeah, not, that was probably the, the yeah, people that serviced it or something like that. It's got. Okay, it's got 5,600 and. 85 kilowatt hours. So it's on 105,685 kilowatt hours because that's going back around zero. So imagine a $100,000 here. There you go. My first one hundred amp single phase meter in my collection. The email ones are um a 266.6 for their their hundred amp uh, models, their version. They use a plastic case, the um email one hundred amp meters. The only difference you see it's all hollow at the top on the email ones. Let's do a bit of a size comparison here with this email them too. It's at least an inch higher, the Wobbleton Frankie one. That was a steel bracket. This one's got the molded bracket near the case. Look at the back. Very carefully laid at the side. There's the back of the email. Here's a back of this one. Now compare these back to back and we'll see what the, the size differences are. This one's not quite as heavy either. The EMIO one's more heavier. So the EMIO one's more better built. There you go. The Robert and Frankie one's slightly bigger than the EMIO one. Let's put that down carefully. Over there. Definitely heavier than the Robert and Frankie. Yeah, that one there is definitely heavier. Not by much though. So let's um, hook this one here up, get this little uh, one tenth dial on its mark, and this here on its mark, and we can do an accuracy test. It would be accurate, being um, re recently certified and retested. Let's hook it up and give it a give it a run. Then we can give it a good dusting over. Which is all wired up, phase in neutral in. Neutral out, phase out, as per the diagram there. Unfortunately, I can't put the terminal cover on and then hang it because it's going to pull the meter forward out of balance. So I better leave this off so it hangs level when I do the tests. There you go. All right, let's put some power to it and get it on its mark. Then we can start doing the accuracy test. If you look carefully, if I get the right angle, you see the load coils in there. The load winding. This does have timing marks. A bit hard to see. You've got to look through this hole here. And that's your viewing hole. Look through it at the right, at the right angle to see your um, timing marks there on the load reel. So look, the camera can pick it up. Somewhere there, it's on the 80. So it probably counts down from 0 to 100. Oh, here was power on. Power's on. Yeah, it's creeping. Nothing connected on the load side. So, um, these meters weren't anywhere near as common as the email meters. And you can see here, it's perfect, perfectly level, no load. There's a bit of creeping on that. 
slowly, slowly that wheel is turning and stops at a certain point. It's a aluminium load wheel, it's not polished, it's, it's just got this um, brushed texture to it, like on the nameplate there. Kind of looks like the email SDM um, load wheel. It's perfectly centered as it should be, it's been serviced in 87, and the creeping seems to have stopped. Alright, yes, yeah, moving very slowly. Let's put the load on. Power on. There you go, 10, 20, 30. That's your actually your one one hundredth dial, the numbers on that load wheel. Zero, see? There you go, that's one one hundredth or a kilowatt hour on that. The counting other marks on that wheel. Numbered all the way around. Alright, let's get this um on its mark. So I get everything set up, get the BAZ and its uh, timing mark and this and that's timing mark and we'll go. Actually, no, I won't worry about it. I know it's going to be accurate anyway. So let that get to about a millimetre past on that mark. And that one is about the same, a millimetre past on that mark. Okay, that's on a low setting. I wonder why I'm not going very fast. There you go, that's better. It's got to get a millimetre past that timing mark there. And this and this should be about that too. Another thing about these, the email versions of these types of dial pointers on the email 100 amp meters, that this little dial pointer is the same shape as these ones. So on the Robert and Frankie ones, I've kept the email style um, dial pointer on the one tenth there. I take it past a bit more, because it was a bit more past than the other mark. So far, it's pretty good. The load wheel seems pretty straight, that's good. That's spot on there. Alright, power off there. I know it's going to be accurate. And it passed its accuracy test. There you go. Let's do uh, dusting off that meter. A little bit dusty, so let's get the rag out. We'll give it a nice polish and shine it up. Okay, I've got it's all nice and clean. Bit of meth loaded spirits. Got all that dirt off it. Looks pretty good. As you can see, I can't put the tower cover on. The meter's on a lean forward, so I'll leave it off when I do the tests. There's a little bit of muck there on the glass, I get a bit more of a harder polish. There you go, it's coming off now. That's better. Alright. There you go, that's the Australian Sangamo HMT variant. This is also Bakelot. All Bakelot meter, no plastic. There you go. All past its accuracy test and fully uh, cleaned up and looking good. I'm not going to open this one up on camera though. I'm going to leave these anti temper seals as they are. So I leave that in its original seal how it was and not not open it up. So okay, if you all noticed did another accuracy test, dead off its mark on these little um wheels. I'll just notice something. 
This, all on these meters, all spin uh, clockwise. But this one, it spins anti-clockwise. I just realised that. And yes, that's the result of the accuracy test. That's why I had trouble reading the bloody thing. There you go, huh? That one there spins anti-clockwise. This is mechanically a little bit different to how the email meters work. There you go. Thanks for watching.